Okay, just a quick update on the aquaponics system I've got. I've got two of the grow beds basically finished. And, uh, and as you can see, I've got some water running into this one and water running into that one. Now, this arrangement needs to be uh, a little more finesse put into it. But the idea is you adjust uh, this up or down and that up or down. And that, uh, you know, gives you how much water you're going to put into these things. And there's the drain system running. Anyway, some progress. Uh, we've got the thing running. Now I've just got to finish up these, get everything else in. And uh, I planted some uh, kiwi plants right there. They're a different kind of a kiwi. I think they're called an abundant kiwi. And then I planted some uh, blueberries right here. Two blueberry bushes. And we'll see how that grows. And I don't know if you care, but I've trimmed off all of the, uh, the grape vines here so that maybe they'll produce this year. I'm no expert at pruning these things, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a better view from this side. I'm no expert at pruning these, but from what I've been told and some other folks on uh, YouTube, I think this should work. But uh, I guess what we'll do is have to see. So. Anyway, there's the update, and there's the fish pond. The water seems to be maintaining temperatures now, uh, right around 60 or a little bit above. So I think it's kind of safe at the moment to start putting goldfish in there so that they don't want to hibernate immediately. So anyway, it's working, and everything looks great. Well, it's the 17th of March today. And I've got quite a bit done. I'm feeling like I'm running behind schedule here a lot because I really should be, be having some things planned. But I wanted to show you what uh, progress I've made here in getting the uh, grow beds in place. As you can see, the water is running and the uh, pond is full. Let me take you around and show you what I've done. Now, I still have quite a bit to do, but the system is basically running. As you can see, I've got... Uh, two big grow beds at the end and three smaller ones and I'm going to have one more right there and there's the standpipe for it. But as you can see, now this is a rough standpipe kind of thing but you can see each one of them has a little bit of water running into it and uh, this one will also have water running into it. Now we've got a lot more water available as you can see because this is the overflow uh, so there's a lot more water available and to increase the pressure in these what I need to do is make that standpipe a little taller, and I'll take care of that later. But for now, it's running, and what I've got is, each one of these has uh, got an overflow, it's like I showed you before, how I sealed these. And the way I've built these is, these can actually be uh, a deep water uh, hydroponic or aquaponic system, or I've got a little adapter I put on the other side, and turn it into a... Uh, well, where it's like a bell siphon, so the water level will go up and down and cycle. Now, I thought that would be an advantage to try and do a combination of, I don't know what you'd call it, a crat key uh, or a grow bed with a bell siphon without the gravel. And I'll show you that a little bit later, but let me show you down here. Uh, here is one, and what happens is... Uh, this pipe here, if I turn this down, and it'll turn, and however deep that pipe is in the water, when this starts to siphon, when this starts to overflow, it'll siphon out, and it'll siphon down to the level of that pipe. And I've already tested it, and this thing will siphon clear down to nearly empty, and then it'll refill again using that. So it works, cycling, but right now I'm just having it fill and let it go because I don't want the uh, pond to fill up too much. But anyway, there it is. The water is being filled. The, the uh, runoff is going into the pipe. And the pipe is going in here to the pond where I've tried to decorate it up a little bit. i got a lot more work to do. Okay. Uh, now that I've got the basic... Uh, fill and drain system in operation. I've got a pretty good flow rate here and there. I've got to fix these because they, you know, look at it and they look, it looks like crap. When they're functional, it looks like crap. So what I've got to do 
Now let's make it look nice and also stop this. You can see this one here splashing. You know, we can't have that. So what I've got to do is I've got to uh, rig up some fittings so that I can have this pipe as high as it needs to be and then fasten this end down here so that it doesn't move anymore and put it close to the water so that it doesn't splash and it goes right in there and to kind of keep it out of the way of these floating rafts. So anyway, I've got to re re uh, redo these so that they uh, are not only functional but are also where they need to be out of the way and they look kind of nice. You can go down the line here, look at this, see this one here, that looks, <laughs> it works, but it looks pretty bad. And see these, all the rest of these, you know, they, they it works. But uh, see this one here, I just got it spilling out there. And you see this one's splashing everywhere, getting everything wet, we don't want that. Same thing with this one, we don't want that. So, and we've got that one right there, we got to uh, install one more grow bed, but we can get these down right now so that uh, they're going to look look better. Okay, I've got a couple of these done where you know you go from something uh, crazy looking like this or, or like that to something that looks like that. Okay. So, I emptied this out a little bit so that you can see what I'm talking about here. But you see, what I've done here is you go from something crazy like I showed you before to something that's like this that's fastened down. Now, what happens is the uh, how much water you get, your water flow, is dependent on how high this is. In other words, you can push it down. I don't know if you can see that, but there's water coming in. And what you want to do is adjust this so that the water coming in is about right. Now, one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to start this siphoning because then it'll it'll screw up your uh, pressures in this manifold here. So I've got a little hole that I've drilled up here to break any siphoning that might occur. So what you do is you look at this and say, how much water do I want? And you go up or down and say, oh, I want more than that, I want more than that. And it looks to me like Right about there is where I like it. So, now what we do is we fasten this in place so that it'll stay there. And after a while, this will get underwater, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. But you also want to make sure that this one doesn't start siphoning. So, the smart thing to do there is right above where you expect the water to be, drill another hole right here. And now that way, this pipe by itself will start siphoning and doing crazy things. But anyway, that's all there is to it. I'm going to do that down the line for all of these. It looks like we're doing fine here. So, got to get all the rest of these done so that I have decent fill and drain systems instead of goofy looking things.